Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has arrived in the U.S. for several days of meetings. Today, Netanyahu will meet Tesla, SpaceX, and Twitter owner Elon Musk in California. Netanyahu will also meet other high-tech leaders for discussions on artificial intelligence technologies. Netanyahu will later travel to New York, where he is due to meet President Biden on Thursday on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. During his stay in New York, Netanyahu will also meet Ukrainian President Zelensky, Turkish President Erdogan, and other leaders. The Prime Minister will address the General Assembly on Friday and return to Israel on Sunday, just ahead of the start of the Yom Kippur fast. Jerusalem is denying reports in the Arabic media claiming that Saudi Arabia has decided to suspend talks on a normalization deal with Israel. According to the Arab news outlet El Af, the Saudis informed the Biden administration of its decision to halt the talks, citing the extremist nature of the current Israeli government. The Saudis say the Israelis torpedo any possibility of rapprochement with the Palestinians and therefore with the Saudis. Last week, U.S. Secretary of State Blinken told Israel that the Saudis were insisting that resolving the Palestinian issue was critical for any normalization deal with Israel. Cabinet Minister Ben Gvir and Smutrich have indicated unwillingness to make any concessions to the Palestinians for normalization with the Saudis. There were widespread condemnations of Iran's decision to ban one-third of designated U.N. inspectors from visiting nuclear sites. Before heading for the U.S., Prime Minister Netanyahu accused Tehran of violating all of its global commitments. The IAEA called the Iranian decision regrettable and warned that it will harm the agency's capacity to monitor the program. Iran linked the move to what it said was an attempt by the United States and European countries to misuse the IAEA for their own political purposes. The IAEA is urging Iran to reverse the decision, saying that a lack of cooperation will lack its ability to provide credible assurances that Iran's nuclear activities are for peaceful purposes. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.